Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I am here at the Daytona International Speedway Museum on the cusp of tomorrow's big starting race, the Rolex 24 Hours Daytona. And guess what? I have something special and something super exciting to bring to you at this location. And it's right here next to me. This is it. This is your refresh changed up 2025 Cadillac CT5V Blackwing. But before we get into this supercharged, still available with a manual transmission performance sedan, let's talk about what's going on here. It goes back to the early beginnings of Cadillac. It was always about that specific American luxury design, but a lot of people don't realize that performance has been part of that basis from the beginning. Now, when we think of the Blackwing, the CT5V Blackwing, we think about other V-Series vehicles, and it all goes back to 2004, 20 years ago, which is kind of crazy to think that it's been that long, but Cadillac has been bringing that extra level of performance to their vehicles. Now, when they came out with the Blackwing, a lot of people were shocked because not only did it bring supercharged power, but it brought more horsepower than ever seen at the time in an LT4. We all know now that the Escalade V is the outright winner with the most horsepower out of that LT4 supercharged V8. But with the availability of a 10-speed automatic or that Tremec six-speed manual really was focusing on driving engagement but also a new level of personalization. Great news is Cadillac, like we brought you from last year at the New York Auto Show, made a refresh to the CT5. A lot of people on the interwebs were wondering if the Blackwing was dead. Well, I am here to tell you it is not dead. It is definitely alive and well, and we have some new special touches. So let's go ahead. Let's dive into this 2025 first look. CT5V Blackwing and see, is it still that best option for the perfect experience in a luxury performance sedan? Let's go ahead, dive in and find out. Right off the bat, the color. As soon as they took the cover off for me, this Drift Metallic really fits it to a T. It falls in a line with a lot of other contemporary colors that are similar to the shade, but I really think especially with the way some of the lighting is in here. It shows off the body lines. I can't wait to take this outside and really let it be seen, but also, of course, let it be heard with that supercharged V8. Now, at the front of the business is where we're gonna see some of those changes. And it all starts with the lighting. A lot of manufacturers don't put a lot of effort into their lighting, Cadillac does. And you'll see new for 2025, how they've added the actual graphics of the whole V-Series lineup into the lighting. And this is something that Cadillac has always done. Going back 20 years with the original CTS-V, you could see how that nice waterfall effect and then the addition of all those fine details. This is what separates Cadillac from a lot of the other luxury car pretenders out there. All LED. Of course, we have our double stack, double stuffed LED projector beam headlights. And you'll notice how everything comes together super clean, especially with the way they have this body color shape that they kind of boomeranged in there. This is something, like I said, all new for model year 2025. The great news is you still got the functionality. So you're gonna have these massive corner air intakes for brake cooling, for all of those heat exchangers and everything else to keep all the temps in check to give you that top level of performance. Now this one of course has the carbon fiber goodies. So we have this massive carbon fiber splitter, extends all the way across. Not only does it look good, of course totally functional. And guess what? Cadillac says that all the changes that they made for 2025 either maintain the overall aerodynamic performance of the vehicle and in some cases may actually increase it. One of the things that I love about the refresh is how they intersected, you'll see with the headlight housing into that V-Series grille, bringing down that drift metallic. 
Stephen's going to show you down below. You could basically take a Florida grapefruit and slide it in that opening. That's how large that opening is for the heat exchangers. And then just like the lighting, look at the attention of detail on the V series grill. All of these little designs are meant to help pull air into that radiator area. You'll notice our forward facing camera, very, very important, not only in everyday living, but wait until you hear about how they changed the performance data recorder. I think that's gotta be one of the probably the most exciting pieces of new technology, because it's not just about the look, it's not just about the power under the hood, we know they got that. Wait until you see some of the technology that we have on the interior. Of course, that iconic Cadillac badge, and I love that addition of the carbon fiber across the top of the upper grill. Now, flowing all the way down, you're still gonna have that same open grill design, just like up top, and everything nice and color matched. Now, as we rise up, when it comes to the hood, you're still gonna get the same hood as previous model years, but the way that it all comes together with that redesigned front fascia and grill and everything, really gives it that extra mean look. You're gonna get that nice size bulge that rises up underneath. We have that LT4 supercharged V8. And like I said, can be a manual or an automatic transmission. You got those wonderful flared front fenders. And then as we swing it around, what are we working with? Again, wheel and tire sub. So you're still gonna get the 19 inch wheels. Love the way they have that open spoke design. Even the way they take the laser etching and put the V-Series badge in there. Remember, this was the first Cadillac to offer carbon ceramic brake rotors. So it's not just about performance underneath the hood, it's about performance also when it comes down to braking capability. So you got the two-piece rotors that's gonna cut down on rotating mass, that's also gonna help dissipate heat, and then you still have those personalized touches where you could choose your caliper color, love the way you got the V-Series badge, that nice dark cherry red finish. If you're wondering, Joe, what are the tires? Can you remind me what are the tire sizes up front? 275 on the width, 35 series sidewall. And then of course we had the latest revisions of the magnetic ride suspension, which remember GM were the ones to do all the work with magnetic ride suspensions. And a lot of other brands have bought the technology from them. Now coming down the side, I think it was smart, just a little touch to add the black wing badge. I know they recently did that, wasn't there the first year. And that was one of those things that just a little touch kind of separates it from the rest of the pack. Of course, as Steven swings around and shows that flared fender, you're gonna have your functional side fender vents channeling the air down the side of the vehicle. That beautiful drift metallic just poured all over the roof. Drift metallic color match on the mirror caps, your LED turn signals. You'll also notice that we have the Cadillac badge, which when the vehicle is on, lights are on, that will be illuminated. It's the little fine touches. And with that Cadillac badge, so much history. Guess what? Saturday at 1.30, when they start the Rolex 24 hour, Cadillac is on the pole, fastest qualifying lap in the history of the race. So that's what Cadillac is doing. You'll notice the carbon fiber side skirt extension. Yes, it looks good. Yes, you could brag to your friends that you have carbon fiber, but guess what? It's also functional. So if you know how to do the business on the racetrack, you'll be able to really show up your friends with this particular vehicle, especially when they have those other competitors to that, which we won't even mention because of how this car is equipped. Now, coming down the side, of course, being real wheel drive, we got a little bit more rubber to meet the road. 305s out back. Of course, you're gonna have a limited slip diff to help get the power down to the ground. And it's one of those things. Yes, there are vehicles out there that have all wheel drive that compete against this vehicle. If you are a true driver, you would know that when it comes to rear wheel drive, it gives you a certain type of experience and engagement that those all wheel drive cars just can't produce. And I'm glad that they didn't do that on the Blackwing because all wheel drive adds that extra weight. Now, as we come towards the rear, loving the nice flared out fender, it gives it such a, a wonderful stance just sitting here. 
And then like we started, we're gonna finish it out back with this nice, large, massive carbon fiber and functional trunk lid spoiler. Of course, you're gonna have that beautiful LED lighting, just like up front. Love the way they have that all styled for model year 2025. And then working it down to ground level. Look at this, full functional rear diffuser. You have your quad tip exhaust. Of course, you can make them louder and let everybody hear you. Or if you wanna keep the piece, make them quieter. I'm not gonna worry about keeping the piece. You're gonna to wanna to let this supercharged V8 sing, but really looks good from the back. Now, if you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I don't know if I'm ready for a Blackwing. What about something else in their lineup? Well, guess what? They didn't forget about all the other people who want different types of CT5s. And if you want all wheel drive, Guess what? We have it here with the CT5V. So this is a new color, Typhoon Metallic. I'm telling you, whoever chose these colors for their color palette is a genius. The way it just accentuates the lines, it's sporty, it's classy, and it's luxurious all at the same time. But you'll see some of the differences. Obviously not as an aggressive look overall, but it still produces power. And like I said, has that ability for all wheel drive. Now, when you look at the trunk lid spoiler, color matched on this CT5V, and then you're gonna notice how we still have that same great LED lighting. Everybody's gonna get the same style lighting, the badging, and then even when it comes to the exhaust, I love the way they went with a quad tip exhaust. There's some competitors to this car that actually have fake exhausts. Like obviously there's exhausts that run underneath the car, but when you look at the back of the car, they're not actually functional. They're just there for look. That's what Cadillac does. Even with the CT5V, you're still gonna get that performance, that style, and that luxury that you expect from this American auto manufacturer. Now, as we come down the side, let me know in the comment section, are you liking that Drift Metallic or are you liking this Typhoon Green? I'm telling you, I thought I was gonna like this one more, but when I saw the Drift, Metallic color, that one kind of won me over, but let me know in the comment section. Now, when we look at the wheel and tire setup, the great news is you're still getting performance here. You have those Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires, give you plenty of grip, also give you some nice durability as well. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of these wheels? These are 19 inch wheels. Out back, you're basically looking at 245 on the width, 40 series sidewall. Nice to know that you're still gonna get some performance it's not just about giving everything up. Coming down the side of the vehicle, very similar when it comes to what you get, the color match door handles, color match mirror cap, 360 degree camera. You'll notice on this particular one, instead of having a bunch of carbon fiber, it's got the gloss black trim. But the great thing is, it's not just about trim. These are functional pieces. And then my favorite part, of course, you gotta have the V-Series badge. So much history in that badge. Like I said, 20 years. I can't believe 20 years have gone by like that. And the changes that we've seen in the auto industry, but you notice what Cadillac is still doing. And then at the front, if you thought the Blackwing had the look in the new style, you're also gonna get some new look and style from the refresh on the CT5V as well. But same thing, they do such a great job with their lighting, the way it's styled, I'm really digging this area. There's something that's speaking to me on both cars, this area, how the body color intersects all of that. And then of course your V-Series grill, forward facing camera, just like on the black wing that we showed you. You have the gloss black around the perimeter and a little bit of gloss black on that lower splitter. But while we go ahead, I wanna focus on the black wing because they gave me the keys to both of these, but I think that one I'm gonna be driving out of here. So, why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and take another look of that LT4. All right guys, we got the hood popped. Of course, the Blackwing, when you look at all the parts together is one phenomenal vehicle, especially when you go to VIR and you turn some hot laps. But the engine is such a unique component to it, especially because guess what? It's hand assembled at the GM Performance Center at Bowling Green, Kentucky, where, guess what? They also build the Chevrolet Corvette. Now, before I let you in the engine compartment, I wanna show you this Easter egg that was just pointed out to me. I'm not 
going to tell you anything, but I want to show it to you. If you notice when we were looking over the front of the vehicle, right above the forward facing camera, there is a little design there, a little kind of insignia, a little mark. Use the interwebs and see if you could figure out what that is. And supposedly there's a meaning to it, but I don't know. You do the legwork and you let me know in the comment section what you find out, but definitely don't have to do a lot of legwork when you have the hood open because there she is with that build plate hand assembled right in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Let's talk about it again. That LT4 supercharged V8. It's 6.2 liters of supercharged goodness. And when you do the numbers, it's 668 horsepower. Remember, if you have a ZL1 Camaro like I do, you would know that you have 650 horsepower, 650 pound-feet of torque. This has 668 horsepower, 659 pound-feet of torque. And the great news is, Yes, you could have your 10-speed automatic, but you also have your six-speed manual. And one of my favorite things about driving the six-speed manual is guess what? No lift shift. So that means you could row through the gearbox without taking your foot off of that throttle pedal. But why don't we go ahead? We looked at the outside. We looked underneath the hood. The, the engine looks familiar. Let me show you what's all new on the interior of this Blackwing. All right, guys, we are inside this 2025 Cadillac CT5V Blackwing. And right away, every time I get into one of these, I just feel like they got it right. They, they nailed it when it comes to the layout of the interior and especially the seating. Now, wait until I show you, speaking of the interior, some of the changes that we have for 2025. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been looking at BMWs. I've been looking at Mercedes AMGs. I'm really digging this Cadillac. How much is it? No official pricing yet for the 2025 model, but expect it to be very similar to what you can get currently, which is right around $100,000, depending on how you option it. But let's see what this particular one has, especially for model year 2025, to the door panels. I absolutely love what Cadillac does with personalization. Right from the factory, you get to have something unique, something special, and something that isn't going to break the bank like some of the other brands when it comes to personalizing. The carbon fiber style, that Alcantara material, the contrast stitching, you have the AKG premium audio system. Not like you're going to listen to music, because I wouldn't. I'd be listening to the supercharged V8, but it's there for you if you want it. You have your white Nice to see some different colors with the red contrast stitching. Door pocket is a good enough size for a Burger King Whopper and a large Coke to wash it down. Going from the door panel to the dash, more of that carbon fiber style. Love the stitching everywhere. And then get ready. Are you ready for it? Over 30 inches of screen, 33 inches of screen. Look at how it's all one piece connected. This really is a game changer for this vehicle. So you could go into your different ambient colors and simply change everything by selecting it on the screen. I go back to home. Of course, you're still gonna have all your familiar different options. And then working our way down, I love the way we still have controls that are real toggle switches, ventilated seats, heated seats, wireless charging, and then this is where the magic happens. You still have that six speed Tremec manual transmission, love the short throws, crisp engagement, and look at the way they have that beauty up top there of your shift pattern. Nicely done, carbon fiber, a place for a couple packages of Tic Tacs, two cup holders, more of that great white finish with the stitching. Open it up, USB-C, USB-A, a 12 volt, and you could put, I would say, eight packs of Fleer baseball cards especially the old style kind with the gum that would disintegrate in your mouth, your body is gonna disintegrate into goodness in these seats. Look at the piping, the one piece performance back, great bolstering, full power electric assist for the passenger, for the driver. And these are things like I was telling you about, that personalization, being able to choose the colors of the materials, including, of course, the bright red seat belts that's worth an extra five horsepower. 
And one thing I want to mention that I can't show you because we're not driving this one right now is the updated performance data recorder. So in the past, you would need a laptop because you would have to take out the SD card, put it into your laptop and see all the information. Now you don't need that anymore. You could analyze everything within the car and it'll even give you tips on how to turn quicker laps. To me, that's worth its weight in gold. No sunroof, I don't care because you got plenty of room to get the helmet on. But why don't you go ahead and get your butt over here. I wanna show you behind the wheel of this Blackwing. All right guys, business time behind the wheel. Trust me, this is where you're gonna to wanna to be sitting, especially here at the museum at Daytona International Speedway. You do get two memory seat settings. So if you trust somebody to drive your Blackwing, you could do that and they could have their own seat setting. Love the way it's got the V-Series badge illuminated with the aluminum sill plate. Of course, we got the aluminum pedal box, dead pedal, clutch, brake, and throttle. And the great news is if you want to shut off the automatic rev match downshift, you can and you could do your own heel toe downshift all day long. These seats basically hold you like a mother holds their newborn baby. It feels good, they look good, and of course they're fully adjustable for you. Steering wheel, instead of doing any gimmicky weird shape like a triangle shaped steering wheel or something like that, we got a regular round wheel. You're gonna have of course your serial number for your particular one, the carbon fiber. We got the V motion button that makes all the action happen. Love the way they brought some stitching here. It is a power tilting and telescoping wheel. And then of course you have the extension of that over 30 inches of screen. Nicely integrated, so different than what you would find say on a BMW. And I'm actually liking it better in here. And you have the head up display and we still have our performance traction man uh, management system switch here to go through your different modes. They got wet one, wet two. It has all sorts of track modes, perfectly set up everything. But let's get to the last piece of the puzzle. I wanna show off the back seat and let you see that you could share the on-throttle excitement with more than just one person. Let's get back there. All right, guys, back seat time. And this is where it gets even better because like I said, you get to share the experience with other people, especially if you're a parent. If you're a parent, you have to do your job to teach your kids about cars. We don't want the enthusiast car hobby to die. We want to keep it going. And with this car, you get to share it with more people. Backs of the seats, we got carbon fiber poured everywhere. Look at the way the touches. That's what Cadillac brings, the V-Series badge there. You'll notice you're still not skimping. You got AC vents, USB-C, and a 12 volt. It actually has more room than a lot of the competition back here. And what's great is, is that the seats look almost identical to the front seats with a little bit amount of bolstering, the stitching. Of course, you wanna be in comfort. You could sit here and be turned hot laps at VIR or Watkins Glen or Circuit of the Americas or Laguna Seca or Sears Point. I could go on and on and on. I love all the racetracks out there and everybody gets a red seatbelt. Now I know what you're saying. You wanna go for a drive, trust me. I want to go for a drive. We can't yet, but we will bring it to you soon. But we better wrap it up here or I'm never going to leave Daytona International Speedway ever again. So let's wrap it up from the museum. All right, guys. Very, very special moment coming back to the museum. I remember just a few years ago being able to see the Black Wings for the first time right in this very spot. So it's kind of come around full circle. Definitely want to thank the whole Cadillac team for having us out and being able to give us this sneak peek so that we could bring it to you. But let me know what you think. Are you liking the changes, especially to that technology part on the interior with that new infotainment with the digital gauge cluster? And like I said, I can't wait to show you all the functions of how the PDR now works and is integrated within the car. And are you thinking that you wanna park one of these in your driveway and be able to drive it on a regular basis. I know I definitely do, but 
it's not just about the Blackwing. We can't forget also the CT5V. And of course, if this isn't up your alley, like we brought to you from the New York Auto Show, the CT5 gets all the same magic when it comes to the style, the personalization, and the technology. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Razor Rise family. Of course, we need to give it up to Stephen Flood. Stephen Flood Photography, working that camera like a champ. He, he wants to take one home. I know that. Um, I'm going to have him see if he could uh, maybe fool some of the people around here as we drive it out the back door. We'll see how it goes, Stephen. You're the one that is the, is the sacrificial lamb. You're going to be the fall guy. But anyways, thank you for your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next rev.